Third-person shooter TPS is a subgenre of 3D shooter games in which the player character is visible onscreen during gaming, and the gameplay consists primarily of shooting. Topic <laughs> definition: A third-person shooter is a game structured around shooting and in which the player can see the avatar onscreen in a third-person view. Third-person shooter is a game where instead of seeing the games through the main character's eyes, you see the main character moving and shooting in the game and the game is specifically focused on shooting. <laughs> <laughs> Design A 3D game type that has grown to prominence in recent years, especially on consoles. It combines the shooting elements of the first-person shooter with the jumping and climbing puzzles of a 3D platformer and a simple melee fighting system from a brawler. Third-person shooter games almost always incorporate an aim assist feature, since aiming from a third-person camera is difficult. Most also have a first-person view, which allows precise shooting and looking around at environment features that are otherwise hidden from the default camera. In most cases, the player must stand still to use first-person view, but newer titles allow the player to play like a FPS. Indeed, Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath requires the player to shoot from first person, only allowing melee attacks in the chase camera views. Topic. Relationship to first-person shooters These games are closely related to first-person shooters, which also tie the perspective of the player to an avatar, but the two genres are distinct. While the first-person perspective allows players to aim and shoot without their avatar blocking their view, the third-person shooter shows the protagonist from an over-the-shoulder shot or behind-the-back perspective. Thus, the third-person perspective allows the game designer to create a more strongly characterized avatar and directs the player's attention as in watching a film. In contrast, a first-person perspective provides the player with greater immersion into the game universe. This difference in perspective also affects gameplay. Third-person shooters allow players to see the area surrounding the avatar more clearly. This viewpoint facilitates more interaction between the character and their surrounding environment, such as the use of tactical cover in Gears of War, or navigating tight quarters. As such, the third-person perspective is better for interacting with objects in the game world, such as jumping on platforms, engaging in close combat, or driving a vehicle. However, the third-person perspective can interfere with tasks that require fine aiming. Third-person shooters sometimes compensate for their distinct perspective by designing larger, more spacious environments than first-person shooters. The boundaries between third-person and first-person shooters are not always clear. For example, many third-person shooters allow the player to use a first-person viewpoint for challenges that require precise aiming. The first-person shooter Halo, Combat Evolved was actually designed as a third-person shooter, but added a first-person perspective to improve the interface for aiming and shooting. The game switches to a third-person viewpoint when the avatar is piloting a vehicle, and this combination of first-person for aiming and third-person for driving has since been used in other games. Metroid Prime is another first-person shooter that switches to a third-person perspective when rolling around the environment using the Morph Ball. Alexander R. Galloway writes that the real-time, over-the-shoulder tracking shots of Gus Van Son's elephant evoke third-person shooter games like Max Payne, a close cousin of the FPS. Topic History 2D third-person shooters have existed since the earliest days of video games, dating back to Space War, 1962. Third-person perspective shooting is also featured in its clones, Galaxy Game, 1971, and Computer Space, 1971. Arcade shooters with a 3D third-person perspective include Nintendo's Radar Scope 1979, Atari's Tempest 1981, Nihon Bussin's Tube Panic 1983, Sega's Space Harrier 1985, Atari's Zybots 1987, and Square's 3D World Runner 1987, and JJ 1987. Third-person shooters for home computers include Dan Gorlin's Earhart 1986 and Paul Norman's Beyond Forbidden Forest 1986. Konami's Run and Gun Shooter Contra 1987 featured several third-person shooter levels where the player trudges through indoor enemy bases. 
Konami's Devastators is a third-person shooter where, rather than moving forward automatically, the player walks forward by holding the up direction, as the background slowly scales toward the screen. Devastators also featured various obstacles that could be used to take cover from enemy fire, as well as two-player cooperative gameplay. A similar shooter released that same year was Cabal 1988, which inspired many of its own Cabal clones, such as Nam 1975 and Wild Guns 1994. Kurt Kalata of Hardcore Gaming 101 cites Sega's Last Survivor 1988, released for arcades and then ported to the FM Towns and FM Towns Marty, featuring eight-player deathmatch. He notes that it has a perspective and split screen similar to Zybots, but with entirely different gameplay and controls. In 1993, Namco released a two-player competitive 3D third-person shooter vehicle combat game, Cyber Sled. A year later, Elite Systems Limited released Virtuoso on the 3DO. This was an early example of a home console third-person shooter which featured a human protagonist on foot, as opposed to controlling a vehicle, and made use of polygonal 3D graphics along with sprites in a 3D environment. Fade to Black 1995 was also a fully 3D third-person shooter released around this time, but as well as featuring an on-foot protagonist rather than a vehicle, utilized entirely polygonal 3D graphics. Tomb Raider 1996 by Eidos Interactive now Square Enix Europe is claimed by some commentators as a third-person shooter, and Jonathan S. Harbour of the University of Advancing Technology argues that it's largely responsible for the popularity of this genre. Other commentators have considered it influential on later third-person shooters such as Blood Rain 2002, The Contra Adventure 1998, MDK 1997, Duke Nukem: Time to Kill 1998, Burning Rangers 1998, and Heavy Metal FAKK 2 2000. The game eschewed the popular first-person perspective of games such as Doom, instead making use of third-person viewpoints, wide 3D environments, and a control system inspired by Prince of Persia. Mega Man Legends by Capcom is another early 3D third-person shooter which took a different approach to the genre, mixing this with a role-playing game influence. Around the same time, Death Trap Dungeon by Eidos Interactive and Medieval by SCE Cambridge Studio then Millennium Interactive were some of the first 3D games in the genre to include third-person shooter influences in a fantasy setting, with fictional or alternative weapons achieving the same effect as a gun for the player. Die Hard Trilogy by Fox Interactive was met with critical acclaim at the time of its release, and the section of the game based around the first Die Hard film in the trilogy was another early take on a 3D third-person shooter. Siphon Filter by Eidetic now SCE Ben Studio combined the perspective of Tomb Raider with action elements of games such as GoldenEye 007 and Metal Gear Solid Richard Rouse III wrote in Gamasutra that the game was the most popular third-person shooter for the PlayStation. The Nintendo 64 version of Army Men, Sarge's Heroes by the 3DO company was released the same year as Siphon Filter, and is an early example of a popular third-person shooter which introduced the player being allowed to control aiming of their weapon themselves by means of two control sticks. In Tomb Raider and Siphon Filter, on the other hand, the protagonists automatically aimed at antagonists. Forcing or allowing the player to control aiming themselves, either using control sticks or a mouse, would go on to become commonplace in later games in the genre, such as Oni 2001, Max Payne 2001, and SOCOM 2002. Max Payne 2001 was acclaimed as a superlative third-person shooter, inspired by Hong Kong action cinema. Resident Evil 4 2005 was influential in helping to redefine the third-person shooter genre, with its use of over-the-shoulder. Offset camera angles, where the camera is placed directly over the right shoulder and therefore doesn't obscure the action. An important gameplay mechanic that helped revolutionize third-person shooters in the past decade was the cover system. Koei's Winback 1999 has a cover system. Kill Switch 2003 features the cover system as its core game mechanic, along with a blind fire mechanic. Gears of War 2006 employed tactical elements such as taking cover, influenced by Kill Switch, using off-center viewpoints inspired by Resident Evil 4. The game also employed grittier themes than other titles and used a unique feature which rewarded the player for correctly reloading weapons. 
Gears of War, as well as games such as Army of Two 2008, place a greater emphasis on two-player cooperative play, as does Resident Evil 5 2009. As of 2009, the third-person shooter genre has a large audience outside Japan, particularly in North America. Vanquish 2010 by Platinum Games featured a gameplay style reminiscent of bullet hell shooters, with bullets and missiles coming from all directions. See also List of third-person shooters Shooter game